Welcome to Children Church e-learning. Okay, hello children. Welcome to Children Church Praise and Worship. Can I invite everyone to rise? And we are going to begin with our favorite song, the Young Arrow song. Let's go. Things need to be done Cause this year we'll see Jesus Lord of Alcantara Cause this year we'll see Jesus Lord of Alcantara And we got our faith And we got our faith We'll keep on singing, keep on shouting Keep on saying that Jesus is Lord Keep on giving, keep on praying Keep on saying that Jesus is Lord Jesus is Lord, Jesus is Lord Cause Jesus Christ is Lord of Alcantara Jesus Christ is Lord of Alcantara Jesus Christ is Lord of Alcantara Cause Jesus is Lord, Cause Jesus Christ is Lord of Alcantara Cause Jesus Christ is Lord of Alcantara Cause Jesus Christ is Lord of Alcantara yeah, 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 Jesus our brother So hand in hand We'll walk together as one Sing praise to the Lord With your tambourine Sing praise to the Lord Clap your hands Sing praise to the Lord With your dancing feet Sing praise to the Lord with your voice. La 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 God is our Father and He has made us His children. Jesus our brother, so hand in hand we'll walk together as one. Sing praise to the Lord with your tambourine. Sing praise to the Lord, clap your hands. Sing praise to the Lord with your dancing feet. Praise to the Lord with your voice. La 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 God's 
sweet and wonderful Oh, oh, wonderful life So high, I can't get over it So low, I can't get under it So wide, I can't get round it Oh, oh, wonderful love Oh, oh, wonderful love Oh, oh, wonderful love Turn to your friend and say, Jesus loves you. Jesus, Jesus loves, loves you. <laughs> and now as we move on to a time of worship, I want all of you to close your eyes and focus on God and just uh, think about this truth that God loves you and God's love for you is so great that you cannot even imagine. Sometimes you don't feel it but it is the truth that God loves you and He wants what is best for you and because of this love that He has given us we can also love our friends the same way and be a blessing to them uh, so as we sing this next song uh, let us sing it with a prayerful heart um, that we want to love others just like how God loves us. Okay, so I'm gonna pray a short prayer for all of us. God, we thank you for your love and I pray, Lord, that you just come and encounter the children and encounter all of us right now. Um, wash us over with your deep love and help us love others the way that you want us to. In Jesus' name, I pray and all God's children say, Amen.
children, you worshipped wonderfully and all God's children can be seated. Who is a follower of God? I am a follower of God. What should I do to follow Him? I pray to Him with all I got. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. I listen to God and obey Him. Keep listening. Keep listening. Keep listening. Keep listening. I will worship God alone. Keep praising. Keep praising. Keep praising. Keep praising. I will trust my God the King. Keep believing. Keep believing. Keep believing. Keep believing. I say I'm sorry and rap this song. Keep repenting. Keep repenting. Keep repenting. Keep repenting. I obey Jesus all the way. Obey Him. Obey Him. Obey Him. Obey Him. I love the Lord with all my heart. Keep loving. Keep loving. Keep loving. Keep loving. Trusting God for victory. Keep trusting. Keep trusting. Keep trusting. Keep trusting. I love my friends like God loves me. Be a friend. Be a friend. Be a friend. Be a friend. Hello, boys and girls. I'm Uncle Jing Chong. That was a very long rap by the Israelites. Did you manage to catch the newly added rap lines for this week? Don't worry, I will give you a recap. I love my friends like God loves me. Be a friend. God has blessed us with friends whom we can care and share. Today, we are going to learn that we can love and be a friend to another from the Bible. So take out your Bible and we are going to turn to 1 Samuel chapter 18 to 20. We'll give you a summary of these three chapters. So sit tight and pay attention. After David defeated Goliath, the Israelites won the battle against the Philistines. King Saul was really impressed with David and got David to join his army. King Saul's son, Jonathan, got to know David and they became best friends immediately. Jonathan made a promise to David to always be friends by giving him his own robe and weapons. From then on, David was always successful in everything that he did. He became famous and popular among all the people and even among Saul's servants. This made King Saul very angry because he was jealous of how successful and great David had become. As such, he ordered his servants and Jonathan to go and kill David. Jonathan warned David that his father wanted to kill David. Jonathan also told David that he would speak to his father. Jonathan tried to convince his father not to kill David. King Saul agreed for a while, but it was not long before his jealousy arose again and he tried to kill David. David began to run away from King Saul. David went to Jonathan. He was very upset that King Saul was chasing after him to kill him. Jonathan was confused at first, so he went to find out from his father Saul. Jonathan came to a royal dinner where David was supposed to attend. King Saul asked why David wasn't around. Jonathan explained that David went home to Bethlehem. When King Saul heard it, he became furious. From then on, Jonathan knew that his father would surely kill David. Jonathan kept his promise to David and did not tell Saul where David was. He helped David to hide from King Saul. So the two of them met for one last time and they said their goodbyes while crying. They knew that they might not meet again and called on God to be a witness to their friendship. Wow, boys and girls, what amazing friendship that David and Jonathan have. 
Even today, we continue to enjoy friendships that God has blessed us with. But that does not mean that we just wait for someone to be our friend. We can take the first step to be a friend to someone. Being a friend can sometimes be uncomfortable and sometimes strange, but God can bless the friendship to grow in wondrous ways. Like the next example. Okay class, that's all for today. But before we end, I'll need someone to call Shun Kui. She's down with COVID and resting at home, and I'll need someone to teach her what I've just taught today. Any volunteer, please? Hmm, not me, please. So troublesome. And what if I teach her wrongly? I don't even know Shun Kui that well. Someone else should do it lah. Okay, anyone? Alright, class monitor, please call Shun Kui. Okay. Alright, class is over. Wow, this is so difficult. I got the wrong answer again. Rachel, you know how to do this problem sum. I was there in class when the teacher taught this. Uh, I don't think so eh. Sorry I need to go toilet. Dear God, what do I do now? No, I don't dare to go back into the classroom. See lah, the class monitor never teach Shu Hui properly. Then she come and find me. Even if I don't help Shu Hui, somebody else will, right? But, God, I know you want me to be a good friend to Shu Hui. But, can you please give me the wisdom and courage to be able to handle this situation properly? In Jesus' name I pray, Amen. Uh, Shu Hui, let me see if I know how to do this question, okay? Oh, can you help? Uh, I try lah, but I might be wrong lah, just say. It's okay. I'm so lost and confused, I don't even know what all this means. Oh, so actually right, this is how you apply the formula. 1 plus 1 equals 4. Here, your drink. Wow, thank you. You remember they are like this? Of course lah, you always drink the same thing. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. But there is one thing that I definitely remember, and that was how you helped me when I felt so lost and alone. Thank you for being a friend. Oh, but I almost didn't, you know. But then, God gave me friendships, and that reminded me that I needed to be a friend too. Thank you God for sending me a friend. A follower of God is a friend to others. Have you been in a similar situation like Rachel? Unsure of what to do or say to someone in need? Hoping that the one stepping in to help is not you? I am glad how Shu Hui and Rachel became good friends. Let's continue to be a friend to someone even if it is inconvenient or uncomfortable. God loves us and we can also do the same to love others by being a friend. Before we move on to our worksheet or class activity, let me announce how many gift shop stamps you will receive. Today, you'll be getting three stamps. Those who are online, do remember to do your online worksheet so that you can receive your stamps. That's all for the video today. Goodbye.